What up, what up? I'm the Crate Digger. This is Studio to Stage. Studio to Stage is a development series which is designed to increase awareness of artists to standards, norms, and just different things to help increase the likelihood of success, efficiency, and quality. Now, this series has two sections, and each of those sections is divided up into three subsections. We have pre-studio, in-studio, post-studio, then we have pre-stage or pre-show, on stage and off stage or post stage. With that being said, all of the things that I share are based on decades of my time on stage and in the studio as a performer, DJ, producer, and much, much more. Listen, this is not all inclusive, nor are my suggestions the only way that things can be done. With that being said, I've seen a lot of ways that it shouldn't be done. Feel free to like, comment, and share. Let's get into it. So now that it's time to step off the stage or we're moving post-stage, what do we need to keep in mind? Once again, engagement. A lot of times you don't have the opportunity because of travel, because of the running of the show, the way the venue was set up. Sometimes you may not always have time to thank fans, take pictures and do the things to show appreciation for those folks who have come to see you. But if you have the opportunity, whatever that looks like, engage your audience afterwards. Sometimes that means they can come to the green room or you can go to a photo lounge or side of the stage or some part of the venue where you can take photos or you can even go out into the audience once the show is done, shake hands, talk to people, which leads to the next thing, merch or commerce. A lot of artists have t-shirts, CDs, tapes, towels, whatever. If you can develop a quality merch campaign, Sometimes your merch will pay you more than your shows do. Now, with that being said, of course, there's costs that go into investing in merch. And sometimes it can be as simple as stickers. In the end, my point is, that's another way of your post stage or after show experience engagement being extended. Artist payment and remittals. If for whatever reason, the structure of your financial agreement requires you to wait until after the show, to be paid, whether that's immediately after the show or after ticket sales and box office counts happen, whatever that looks like, be sure that once again, that's laid out in the contract and follow up if necessary after the show to be sure payments are made per the contract. Lastly, rapport. As one who absolutely feels it's okay to speak your mind and talk about your different experiences, keep in mind that Generally speaking, if people don't like to deal with you and or your camp, they won't. There are some superstars who are just such draws that they can be jerks to people. Most of us will never reach that status. So keep a quality rapport when possible. I am not saying that you have to say nice things about people that you don't mean. And I'm not saying that you can't talk about a bad experience that you had. What I am saying is keep in mind and weigh the consequences of whatever you do and or say and how that reflects on you, your brand, or the artist or camp you may be traveling with. Your rapport is important. If you show up on time, you handle business, you have professionalism and a considerate nature, more likely than not, more people will want to work with you. And just like people talk about those artists who are pains, they also talk about artists who are really pleasant and fun to be around. That word travels as well. So think about the rapport that you leave with the text, with the venue, with all the people who help facilitate and make these events happen and these events run that we enjoy getting paid to perform at. With that being said, once again, not all inclusive, but based on a lot, a lot of years, a lot of learning experiences, a lot of successes and failures that I've had going from studio to stage. Once again, feel free to like, share, and put some comments, questions in the chat below. I'm the Crate Digger. Peace and love. One.